Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you for uh, conducting uh, this hearing. Look, I don't know anybody uh, that I've met in a lifetime in public service who didn't like a tax cut. The truth of the matter was that uh, President Obama had proposed a major tax cut to 28 percent uh, overall and 25 percent for manufacturers. My colleagues on the other side take justifiable pride in the fact that they passed an enormous tax cut. Well, what they're not prideful of is the fact that they did it without any kind of public hearing. Dave Camp, whose picture is on the wall over there, did just the opposite. We met in groups and were able to talk this through so that we would not end up in the god-awful situation that we find ourselves uh, today. And I say god-awful depending upon the state you live in and the ramifications that the tax code has had on you. In my state of Connecticut, a small state, 750,000 people avail themselves to deductions. The average deduction is $19,000. So the $10,000 cap is of little help. And it's not much of a consolation for them to understand that their extra taxes went to pay for 83% of the tax cut going to 1% of the nation. And so you can certainly appreciate and understand how perplexed they are, as witnessed by the number of letters and anecdotal. And Mr. Chairman, I'd like to submit for the record several letters that I have from citizens in Without the state objection. of Connecticut uh, who feel that they have been unfairly treated in something, as was pointed out by our witnesses, that has been in effect since the Civil War and amounts to double taxation. But the rub is, not only is it double taxation, but when you're barely holding on and what you're doing is augmenting a tax cut for major corporations that is permanent while individuals expire, this is where uh, the problem lies and why your testimony today is so vitally important. We can't continue down this path, especially with states that take the responsibility to deliver education and public services, whether it's uh, firefighters and police and emerg emergency me uh, uh, medical teams to across the board what individuals have needed to make their states continue to grow and, uh, and operate. Uh, Mr. Lineback, you, uh, in your testimony, would you agree with Ms. Kading that this has uh, a, a de minimis impact in your state? Yes. Uh, again, I think we're arguing personally the wrong issue. It's not about winners and losers. It's about the fundamental principle of the SALT deduction. The SALT deduction is not something that was created 10, 20, 30, 40 years ago. The SALT deduction goes back to the foundation of our country. It goes back to the foundation of federalism that respects the taxing authority of states and local governments. It was reinforced in 1862 by Lincoln's Civil War tax. It was reinforced again in 1913 by the 16th Amendment. And if we didn't have the SALT uh, deduction in place during World War II and during the end of the 1970s when we had an extremely high federal tax rate, we would have had effectively people paying in excess of 100% of their income in taxes. The issue isn't about red and blue. It isn't about winners and losers. It's about whether or not the foundation of our country relative to the SALT deduction in respect of states and local governments. Which you would characterize as double taxation. Absolutely double taxation. Well, when you get double taxed, I assure you that you take it very personal. And uh, if you're double taxed and in, a, and in a blue state, coincidentally or not, and I don't disagree with you, this isn't about blue states and red states or Democrats and Republicans. This is about what's fair for the country and what's fair in terms of the load that people are carrying in, to, in terms of taxation at the local and state level, AKA that's why we have the provision to begin with. And so to cap it, uh, depending upon where you hail from the country and what kind of income a school teacher and a firefighter in my district 
make well over $100,000 when you combine their incomes together, and then they end up having to uh, pay additional federal taxes, let alone not even see a tax break. They pay additional taxes, and of course that goes to uh, helping out major corporations. I yield back. Time has expired. 